Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to go over how to set up static files in Django. So this will be a short video just going over how to set things up and load in a CSS file, but this will work the same for any image or JavaScript file you also put in your static folders. So I already have my terminal running. I have this project from the previous videos. The starting code will be in the description below if you want to get to it there. Um, and I also have it opened up here. So to set this up, what we need to do is first go into our settings.py file. And if you scroll down here to the bottom, you'll see we have our static URL set here by default. And we have this link here to set up how to set up static files in Django in this current version being Django 3.2. So if I were to take this link here, I'll open that up. And it will open up our documentation to set up static files. And this will also be in the description below, but you should be able to get to it in your settings file as well. So we look at this, we need to configure it first. And first, got to make sure we have our static URL set, which we already do by default. And then we'll go and go ahead and load it into our file. And then we can link it from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to first we'll go ahead and create a static folder and a static file. Now, there's two places we can put this. We can put it inside of our application, or actual Django app, I should say. In this case, I have an app called Catalog. Or we can put it at the root of our file. And I'm going to go through both and how to set both of those up. So first, let's start with the one that requires the most minimum amount of uh, configuration, which is inside of our app. So what we'll do is inside of this app here, we'll create a new folder. This folder will be called static. And by default, inside of static, we'll create another folder and we'll call this catalog. And this is the default location for static files, just like our templates, how we go templates, our name of our app, catalog, and all of our templates here. The default location for static is the same thing. So we do app name or go into our app, static folder, create another folder with our app name. And inside of here, we can put all of our static files. So here I'll create a new file and I'll save this as style.css. And just to test that this is working, I'm going to create a class and call it test. And we'll set the color to be red in this case. And so if this is working, it should change the text color to whatever we set this class on to be red. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my index template. So I'll go inside templates, catalog, and find my index.html template. Once again, this is all in the description. If you haven't been following along in this series, it's down there uh, where you can get all this code. And inside of this template here, I'm going to go ahead and link in a static file. And so we can create a link right here. But before we do that, we need to actually load in our static files. So above the doc type, I'm going to go ahead and put a Django template tag, which is uh, curly braces and 2% signs. And inside of here, I'll type load static. And this will load in our static files. Now, down here, I can go ahead and create that link. So I'll go ahead and create a link tag. I'll put rel equals style sheet. But a type, and this will equal text slash CSS. And then finally, I'll add an href, and this will be going to our static location inside of our app and loading that style.css file. And the way we do this in Django is once again, we put two curly braces, 2% signs. Instead of here, we'll type static to access our static files. And since we're inside of an app static folder, so since we're inside of our catalog static folder inside of here, what we'll do is we'll type catalog, or sorry, put this in, in single quotes, and we'll put catalog slash style.css. And that will load in this style.css file inside of our catalog app static folder, if that makes sense. Now let's go ahead and just apply this style to this h1 element. So we'll do a class equals, and this will be called tests, which is what we called the uh, class in our style.css. I come back to my uh, browser here and to the, my application. I reload the page, and nothing's happening. Let's go ahead and stop the server and rerun it. And there we go. And that's how we can set up static files inside of an app in Django. But if you have some sort of like global style sheet, you may want that to be outside of your app folder or outside of your, your app itself and just into the root of the project. And so we can set up static files there as well. It just requires a little bit more of um, a configuration to get that working. 
So let's first start by creating a static folder inside the root of our project. So we'll go to our root, we'll create a new folder, and I'll save this as static. Now inside of this static folder, I'll go ahead and create a new file, and I'll save this as style.css once again. And now in this style sheet, we can put the color the red, and this one I'll create the same test class, but let's set the color to green, just so we can differentiate that this one is working instead of the other one. Now let's go ahead and configure this so that our app can find this style sheet. Or our Django project, I should say, can find this style sheet. So we'll go inside of our, our settings.py file. So go to music, and we'll go into settings.py, and we'll scroll down here. And looking back at that documentation, we can find exactly what we need. So right here, below where it talks about loading in the, sti the static files, we find the static files underscore dirs. And this is where we can pass in any directory, any directory location, any path to any directory that will hold our static files. And in this case, we want this first one right here, base dir static. So in Django 3, all of this is set up up here for us. Base dir is already defined this path for it. We'll just go to the root of our project. So this will be the root of our project slash static, which goes exactly to this folder we just created, which has this style of CSS inside of it. So we can go ahead and add that right here. So I'll go right below my static URL and I'll go ahead and create static files underscore dirs equals a list. And now inside this list here, I'm going to go ahead and put base dir in all caps, space, a slash, and then in quotes here, static. We save that, and now we should be able to find this style at CSS inside of this index.html template. Now, inside of our link here, since we're no longer in a, an app style or an app static folder, we can go ahead and just get rid of this because now it should be able to find just style at CSS since we added this line here to our base DIRs or to our static files DIRs. So now that we have that there, we can remove the catalog slash inside of our static href here and just put just style at css we'll come back here reload the page and now it turns green and so now we've we've successfully set up static files in the root of our project and now we have a static or a style at css global style sheet to apply styles anywhere in any of our apps within our project now this works perfectly fine for development purposes when you use the run server with debugs at the true but in production, this gets a little different. So what we can look at in this documentation, it gives us a way to serve static files during development. And you can add it manually right here. Uh, but we'll need to set a static root as well. But when we go into deployment, we need to also set this run this command of collect static. And what this will do is it will take all of our static files and put them in one place at this static root directory. So when you're using a web server, you'll need to configure it to serve static files depending on what you're using to deploy, but you'll need to make sure to set your static root and run collect static. So let's go over that right now. So right now in this folder here or in our code here, we'll go inside of our settings.py and we'll add a static root directory right here. So let's add static root equals and this will be base dir and we'll do um i guess static files as the folder right there we'll save that i'll grab my terminal here i'll close this i'll stop it and i'll run python 3 uh, manage that py click static and I will see 130 static files copy to this directory slash music slash static files. And now we have this new folder here called static files with all of our static files right here. Now for development for a development server, if we want to go ahead and serve these manually, we can go into our music URLs. And now with both our static URL and static root defined, we can come down to the bottom of our URLs and we can add a line that you can find here if we want to serve it manually from here what we can do is we can add this line right here so i'm going to go ahead and copy it and you'll see what we're doing is we're getting 
our static URL and our static root from the settings file and we're calling the static function. So I'm going to go and add that right here. And of course, we'll need to import a few things. So jumping back into documentation, we'll grab static and we'll grab settings to be able to get those that information and that, those uh, values and that function. We'll come back to our code here and we'll paste it right here. We'll save that. Make sure our server is running, which it is. I'm going to go and just stop it and rerun it. We'll come back, back here, reload the page, and everything still works just fine. Now we come down here to the documentation. Let's see here, where is it at? You'll see right here, this is not suitable for production use. And they have a link here for common deployment strategies. So click on this, it will take you to some different ways to uh, deploy your static or serve your, say, serve your static files depending on what you're using. So if you're using Nginx is right here, Apache. So you can read through all of this to determine how you need to serve your static files in whatever production environment you're using. But that is really it for static files. It's pretty easy to do for development and just for testing your project, but uh, it gets a little more complicated when you go to deploy it. But for this video, I'm going to go ahead and just stop it here. Um, that's a really basic sort of setup to get you working for your development server to test and build your project. So that is really it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.